Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles throw and battle Raphael. With Raphael, you can set him, throw him, and watch the turtle deploy and release his, in this case, his size. Uh, these turtles toys have now just been released. They should be available in most toy stores. And Spot actually picked up all four of these, so we're going to be having a look at them for ages four and up on the back of the package. The Foot Clan and the Krang better watch out when these throw and battle turtles burst into action. Throw them into battle and watch as they hit the ground and spring into action, unleashing their deadly weapons and ninjutsu skills. Evildoers, beware, these turtles are ready for a fight. Once again, you press them down, throw them, and then they deploy and release. Collect all four turtles, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Donatello. What I'm going to do is take a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles throw and battle Raphael. Don't go anywhere, guys. Stay tuned. Raphael comes with these really large size. In fact, it's some of the largest size I've ever seen with a Raphael toy. Um, but it relies, again, on the idea that these will swing down. If you've ever seen my review of Leonardo, it's the same idea. And unfortunately, there is no section on the Raphael toy where you can house these weapons. So you will always kind of really have them holding it or you just kind of keep them to the side. Um, now this Raph, a little bit different than Leonardo in the sense that he's got his hood up. Um, his hoodie or the outfit that he's wearing is in a red. Still got like the bandages around his hands and the, the elbow pads and knee pads, very similar to what we got with all the other Turtles toys. And of course he's got the activation button right here. To activate him, and by the way, articulation, his head does rotate, uh, even rotates with the hood being on, and then really his arms and legs are more so just uh, gimmick heavy. So they move up and down, but they move up and down based on what the activity the turtle is going to do. So you can take his size, and you have to just peg them into his hand, just like so. Take the other side, and peg it into his hand. There you go. Uh, they also rotate too, and I don't know if that was, it's part of the gimmick, we'll see in a second. But very similar to Leo, you're going to take the back section here, fold it over to lock it in. These arms, you might even want to just help out and get them to the sides of the legs, and you'll hear a click. And essentially it's ready to deploy, I go like this, ready to deploy. But you're going to take it and throw it, and you want to make sure it lands on this button right here. So throwing it, Move the camera back a little bit. Throwing it. There you go. This one actually did a little bit better than, than uh, Leonardo did. But you can see it springs up. And uh, I don't know if these would actually spin. I didn't see them spin. But um, you deploy them and he brings up the size. Which is kind of cool. I like that. It's, uh, it's certainly more geared towards the child end of the people that collect Ninja Turtles. And really that's where the line, uh, you know relies heavily on. So I can see why a gimmick like this probably would be something that the kids would be into. Um, I mentioned really with the Leonardo too that it, this gimmick, though it's a little bit different, kind of reminds me of the old Transformers, the ones that you revved back and they would pop up. Although in this case it's just the pressure sensitive end of it that's popping the toy up. It's not You're not revving it or anything like that. Uh, but again, to give you a good closer idea, you're just going to really press the button, which is the same effect as really me throwing it on the ground. But when you press the button, it deploys up, and you can see Raph with his size up. Uh, these are now available in uh, in toy stores. Spot uh, picked up all four of these. So we've already had a look at Leonardo. We've had a look here at Raphael, and we will be having a look at the other two brothers from this set as well. Uh, today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Throw and Battle. Spot's probably just going to do this a lot more. The Throw and Battle Raphael. Thanks for watching, as you always do, guys. Spot certainly appreciates it. And stay tuned. The review of the two other brothers will be heading your way as well. See you guys next time.